us, us. Single baby mamas, we gotta end that. And how do we do it? Huh? By sticking with them. In what way? Marriage. No marriage. No. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 7, and verse 24. Hast thou daughters? Have a care for their body. Uh oh. God says, when you have daughters, as men, when we have daughters, we have a care for their bodies. Meaning, we're not going to allow our daughters to be out here sleeping around. Right. Right, Reed? And show not thyself cheerful to toward them. Meaning, your father ain't supposed to play with you. Right. You're supposed to be a very serious, austere man. Right. You should fear him if you ever was to think about having sex and bringing forth children. Because guess what? A lot of times, what we do, we do things behind our parents' back. We don't keep it straight up as young as young men. I was young, we was all young. We don't keep it real with our parents when we get, we start smelling ourselves. We start being attracted to women, right? When you start being attracted to men, your mom might ta have taught you to dress modestly, right? We're going we're gonna to show you that real quick. You want to finish it? Verse 25. Verse 25. Marry thy daughter, and so, and so shalt thou have performed a weighty matter. Do what? And, and marry thy daughter. Marry what? Thy daughter. Marry, marry, marriage. Read. And so shalt thou have performed a weighty matter. I mean, it's a heavy thing. It's a very serious thing. Marriage. Understanding. Uh oh, what? Give her to a man of understanding. A man of understanding knows God's law. <laughs> he know not to be looking at other women, watching pornography, right? Because they young men. That's what a lot of our brothers do: watch pornography, look at other women, looking at twerk videos, right? A man of understanding will know that I'm only supposed to have one wife, and the and the way I need to look at her is in a modest dress. Right, where her, not her cleavage out, not her belly button showing, not in pants, not in Daisy Dukes, not in booty shorts, right? But the booty that I desire of her is a modest woman who fears God. That's you understand? Right. That's what a man of understanding is attracted to. He ain't attracted to no whores out here. You understand that? grandparents they had a little sense right and sometimes that transpires to our, uh, our actual mother and father right your mother might have taught you to dress a certain way don't dress to where brothers is all up on you or you got your ass out or your breasts out she might have taught you that but behind our parents back we'll take them booty shorts to school right we'll sneak and change our clothes when we get to the locker room we'll put the leggings on right those are things that our sisters do behind their mom's back. Brothers, they do things behind their parents' back too. All right, so we're going to read what God says real quick. Read. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest. Modesty. That means that you do not draw sexual attention to yourself. So you dress a certain way. But you will dress according to the dress code of God. Right? What's going on, brother? We're teaching the word of God to our youth about how our youth must conduct themselves so that we can end single parent households. Do you have children? Come on over and do it, bro. Oh, come on, bro. Alright, so all right, so let me show you okay. Read it one more time. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Why we talked about modest apparel. So it's a particular apparel that God has designed or given to the women. So we're going to show you that real quick. We're going to show you that. Because guess what? With this modesty that God gives the women, it helps avoid negative attention. 
right? You can cast down the thoughts of the Nicki, Nicki, uh, the Nicki Minaj, the Cardi B's, and all that, the Beyonce's. They dress and uh, put a way that you should dress out there, right? They communicate evil to you. You understand? All right, so let's read that real quick. We're going to show you what God says. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So notice he said the woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, right? Meaning a woman should not wear man's clothes, right? Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garments. What is that talking about, sister? Clothes, right? So... So now, read, read that last part one more time for me. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What are women's garments that men should not wear? Come on, uh, skirts. What else? Dresses, heels. Okay, so now we have an understanding clearly what women's apparel is, right? So now, huh? Uh, read from top, not yet, hold on, read from top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, we understand plainly what women's clothes is. So what pertains to men? What should men be wearing? What belongs to men that women should not wear? Shorts and pants. There you go. There you go. Y'all understand that? So God can even give you a dress code. He even gives us a dress code. A modest, flowy dress, not skin tight, where you gotta walk, you know, all crazy in heels. Not them crazy palm dresses that our sisters been wearing. Right. You understand that? So it's a certain way that we have to dress as a people, and that per that uh, pushes godliness and modesty. Because then, guess what? If you were to have children, you will teach your daughters, you will teach your daughters, you will teach your son, you will teach your son, according to what you've learned out of the Bible. Right. Y'all understand that thing? So.